Thank you for watching the Troy Fire Department Virtual Open House. My name is Lieutenant Verbruggen from Fire Station 1, and today we're going to talk about serving up fire safety tips in the kitchen. Unattended cooking continues to be the leading cause of fires in the home. Now we're going to show you a few tips on what you can do to help prevent this from happening. The first thing you want to do before you start cooking is you want to look at your cooking area and you want to keep it free of any clutter and debris that could be in the way. You want to keep it free of towels, extra excess packaging, oven mitts, any loose clothing that you might have. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have a, a tight fitting lid for the pan that you're going to use. That way if you do have a fire in your pan, you want to have something accessible and readily easy to get to so you can put it on there and put the fire out. Now that you're ready to start cooking, it's important that if you have any food or any pans on your stove top that you actually stay in the kitchen and keep everything monitored and attended. If you're working on anything in your oven or in a crock pot, you need to make sure you, just stay, you stay in your home. An important thing to remember is when you are cooking in the kitchen and you have children in your home, you want to keep at least a minimum of a three foot work area around, your, around the perimeter of your stove so nobody gets hurt. Now that we talked about ways we can prevent from having a fire in your kitchen in a pan, now we're going to go outside and show you what you can do in case you do accidentally have a fire on your stove top. Now that we talked about what you should do in case you do have a fire in your home on your stove top, I have Firefighter Hudson and Firefighter Lynn and they're going to demonstrate what we should do by putting a lid on the fire to help suffocate the fire and put the fire out. One thing I want to add is to make sure that the worst thing you can do is to put water on the fire. You could actually spread the fire and make the situation worse. You could either get burned or spread the fire or, or something worse. So firefighter Lynn, if we can have him put the lid on top of the pan. And as you see, as he puts the lid on top of the pan, it suffocates the fire, it takes away the oxygen, and he shut down the heat to the burner itself. That's very important. We want to take away as much of the fuel and heat source as we can from the fire. And it's very important we don't take that pan off of there. We leave it there and let it cool down. If you ever have a fire in your stove, same thing. You want to leave the pan in there, turn the heat off, and leave the door shut. Eventually, it'll burn out. If you don't feel safe, go ahead and call the fire department. The most important thing is don't panic. You don't want to get excited. You don't want to do things to where you or somebody else is going to get hurt. Thank you for stopping by Fire Station 1. Now it's time to serve up fire safety in your kitchen.